Good morning. Um, I am going to be um, going outside today to, to do the fence row um, because of the deer. Um, the deer come up in the yard and yeah, they look all cute, um, but they're not good for a garden. So I need to fix the barbed wire on the back side of the fence uh, to prepare for all that. Um, I'm talking low right now because Tasha is, is sleeping and I'm probably talking on a normal, like a normal earthling, I'm probably talking uh, just as normal as you, but I'm not used to talking this low. Um, but I have my, my microphone on right here so um, you can hear me good. Hopefully I don't fall asleep because it's so soothing. Um, but we're going to be doing the garden um, and deer will to totally annihilate a garden. They will freaking eat everything in there. They are freaking vegetarians. Um, so uh, that is a, uh, a no... Just because we're outside city limits, you can't shoot deer because there's, you can only do that. I would, but you can only do that within so many feet or yards of another house. Um, and there, you can see houses in the distance, so it's that's not a good idea. Um, you get in very, very bad trouble, uh, probably lose your gun license and a lot of other stuff. So I'm not going that route. Uh, but um, I'm going to be fixing that fence in the back there. There's some old barbed wire back there that I'm going to try to pull out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to try to pull out and um, and um, fix it a little bit. Uh, but for now, I'm going to let them in the yard. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of going to mess them up here. I'm going to keep letting them in the yard and tell my special guest that I'm about to tell you about um, leaves. And then I'll go ahead and close the back gate and... Um, try to keep them off the yard. But for now, I'm gonna let them in the yard. But on uh, 17th through the 22nd, um, Notorious B.O.B. will be here. Um, so from the 18th to the 21st, um, we're gonna try to line some uh, meet, greet, and eats or in a couple challenges up. Uh, I think he said he wanted to come. He, he came, he's coming here to help me, to help me with the, to help me with the she shed. Um, so I'm looking at this bird feeder out here, guys. If I go out this door, that might scare them off, but it's windy out there, that's why I came in here. I'll go out anyway, just to, um, so I can talk a little bit louder. Let me get some coffee real quick. Okay. Okay, and I can talk a little bit louder, uh, but there is the uh, the bird feeder that came from um, my old house that had burnt down, um, but the birdhouse made it because it was outside. Uh, but I did get this in the mail yesterday, and as soon as it came, as soon as it was laying down in the mailbox, and, and she checked it last night, I said, "Oh!" And I knew that was for me. This is Burpee. She gets another magazine from my. Uh, um, from um, some other uh, garden deal, but I know this one is mine. They already have my address on this, um, so they knew I moved. Um, I guess they know through the USPS, once they notify them, they change my, in the database, my address. But uh, you get a lot of good deals, but I'm gonna tell you now, you open this up. See, see, see that tomato? See that a freaking hand? You don't, you don't get tomatoes that big. Beef steaks get kind of, uh, not beefcake. <laughs> Sweet, check me out. Such a beefcake, I can't even get through the door. But beef steaks, uh, the tomatoes. I'm a, a fan of beef beefsteak tomatoes because it has too much of the veins in it, like the white part, and it's not good of the tomato. But uh, they don't get this big, folks. I don't care. One in a freaking trillion might get that big, but. Uh, the plants, you will not get tomatoes that big from there hardly. And I know you're watching, you're probably one of the trillions. So do you want to brag? But uh, no, it, realistically, no. Okay. 
Well, I'm about to get ready out here um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna wear this hat. So when you see both my hands, you're gonna be like, who's taking video from this guy? But I got this clip on here that clips on with the GoPro clips there. So I will go ahead and have uh, some good uh, video. I don't know about the audio. I might have to take some of the audio out because the wind is really kicking up. Um, it's blowing this warm air in. I'm not sure how, how the top part of Mississippi and Memphis is this time of year. I know Tasha will know better than me, but uh, it is about 60 degrees today. So uh, yeah, I'm not used to being 60 degrees in freaking January. I think January and February are supposed to be the coldest months. 60 degrees is freaking awesome. Um, I wish we'd do some fishing. I asked her a couple days ago if uh, if she wanted to do some fishing, um, but she passed it up, I guess. I guess she wants to do stuff around here to get this uh, squared away. I know she really wants to get some fishing done, but we really want to get this house straightened up at least halfway before um, uh, Bob comes. So we're, um, let, me, uh, let me shut up and get out here and uh, I'll talk to you more when you get back inside from working, but I'll probably talk to you out there if the wind dies down a little bit. So we get, let me get out here and show you. Go post stop recording. Okay, um, like you see, we got the picnic table there they've been feeding out of, but it's a little wet today. It's been raining for the past two days. Uh, it's picking up sticks and stuff. Uh, hope this camera is, is steady moving when I'm moving. Uh, Cause I'm so uh, so fast like a puma, uh, but I'm, I'm going to try to show you some of the stuff out here as I'm working. So I needed needed both hands. That's what she said. Uh, I still got a, I got the ladder right here because I have to put uh, this. They left. They knew this was a problem here, so they left a few a few rakes, but. This rake here is on this pole where it can get up on top of the roof of the house and on top of this uh, lean-to. Uh, there's the leaf collectors that we need something to hitch on there. That zero turn, that zero turn doesn't have a, a hitch on it uh, on the back, so we couldn't couldn't attach to it. So I, maybe I have to rig some ball up on the back or something to, to, to click it on there, but. Uh, I was out here the other day and this right here, the bob wire, uh, is already here, but I put these stakes up here. I know it looks like a walking dead. If you watch the walking dead, um, you got the stakes there. We're trying to build up the fence so the zombies don't get in. That's that. I didn't really get to this section, but, but see down here. We have uh, some bob wire and everything that was just just uh, put down there that they, they pulled off uh, for the previous owners. So what I'm gonna do is I salvage that and uh, come on down here. I'll show you where I, I did do, but I did I found all these stakes down there so I didn't have to buy those to build this up. I wanna put two or three layers of bob wire because uh, I gotta fill these gaps in like this the deer can jump through. Uh, but down here I started on the other day right here I started but um, I had put the bob wire from here to here and uh, they was jumping through here so what I'm gonna do is kind of bring this down a little bit so it, it cuts the space um, but I'll bring that down just a tad but I did do it here already this uh, this here because they was getting through here as well just jumping right through there so I put bob wire right there so uh, hopefully that helps um, but I got it all the way down to, to this pole here. So I still need to get the rest of that side and then eventually you get one more bob wire up on top of this, but they did, they already got this one kind of done a little bit. So I just need to put one more bob wire up there. But this right here, they can definitely get in. I closed it off the other night, but since Bob's coming, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it open so the deer can come in just for a little bit. Uh, but then I'll uh, go ahead and close it once he he, le he departs. Uh, but I'll have some bob wire going across here, a few, a few here. Uh, 
but that's that's that right now um uh we have turn this around we have the um uh, we have dinner tonight at about 7.30 at a place called Char, uh, Char Restaurant, some, something like that. But uh, I told the realtor, since he did an amazing job, uh, his name's Jason Miller with EXP Realtors. Um, I really, really do thank him um, because a lot of people dropped the ball these whole eight months, uh, the, uh, the, the, the lenders. Uh, and the people we have to, to, to go through, um, they really didn't do a great job except the last lender, and I wanna really appreciate them. But uh, the other two lenders really sucked. But Jason was on top of it. He always called and said, hey, have you heard something? I was trying to, you know, he was trying to get through to everybody. So he's trying to make this process happen quicker. But uh, it just wasn't up to him. He was just trying to stay in touch with everybody. So I told him, I said, hey, when this process is all over, when I'm not, you're a customer anymore we're going to go out and i'm going to take you out to a nice place and eat so uh, i told tasha to, i don't know any nice nice places burger king's nice to me but uh i told tasha to, to find a nice place to eat at and uh, to take jason so uh we're going to go tonight uh and um, i'll get some footage of that a little bit tonight i'm not going to bring the camera and make it all like hey look at me it's a vlog i'm making a vlog of this i want to appreciate him without the camera being there i might take some some um some video of just the food and show you guys okay so i apologize in advance if, if we don't get any video there of us talking and everything like that i'm trying to make it a little more decent meal uh and appreciate him for for all his hard work so let me let me speak of the hard work let me get going because the boss is coming out here uh wondering what i'm doing i guess i'm i'm not working uh but i do got my mud boots on since it did rain uh and uh let's let's see what she has to say and i don't know it might be too windy see the wind's picking up because it seems like it's going to be a mean mean conversation i'm not working yet i think she's coming out here to let me know to get to work and stop <laughs> talking to you guys no no she, she has to go to home depot to do uh, one of the blinds is not cut right so we're gonna uh um get that done so we can put the blinds the rest of the blinds up and i'll show you those i just came out here to be known to see what you were doing oh okay well i'm about to work so got my gloves i got from a dollar from restore human habitat to humanity these were a dollar for the pair 50 cents a piece but uh guess what we got the whole thing you saw the other vlog the five dollar pack of the, the, the gloves all left hands freaking all left hands who packages them all left hands i know i worked with a buddy the the, the field towel i worked with a, a buddy he um all his right gloves the dogs ate come to find out i thought about it i said you know what he smoked cigars with his right gloves so maybe the dogs the labradors they were yeah they were addicted to, to tobacco so the, all his right gloves were <laughs> torn so uh but i guess uh, i guess these were his gloves in the store hey i guess so well, I'm gonna get off here. I got this little fuzzy thing on here. It looks like a troll to, to, to cut down on the wind. See it? Yeah. A caterpillar. Got a caterpillar on there. And I got the little yellow dot on this one. Ooh, I'm talking a little loud in the mic. But I got the yellow dot on this one because I have a green dot on the other one. So the receiver and this one's the same because I had the Buffalo Wild Wings where I mixed it up and I had the wrong one close to, uh, not, not close enough to me. So it was real echoey. But, uh, okay, let me get off here. And uh, Anything you wanted to say? No. I was talking about Bob visiting and all this stuff, and we're going out to eat tonight with Jason and blah, 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 blah. Oh. So, okay, I think that's... Hey. Yeah, I think I said everything. Guys, I've been out here for probably 30, 45 minutes just untangling this stuff. Whoever's the idiot that did this needs to be shot. Uh, this is poultry, 
poultry netting. This is freaking not poultry netting. That is barbed wire. You never mix barbed wire with that. You're never gonna get it out. Yeah, let me turn this microphone around. I'm thinking that's why it's still here because uh, it was wrapped up in a pile. I got most of barbed wire already strung out here, but that was just the rest of it that was left that was really balled up in there. Um, as you can tell, yeah, yeah, got a little uh, scratched up here. Hey, um, I keep looking up here to the house and I keep thinking that uh, she might come out like that Pioneer Woman, um, Pioneer Woman or Frontier Woman, re drumming, because uh, they're always working on the fence row for the cattle or something, and she's always cooking something in the house and bringing it out for everybody, having big smiles on their fake smiles, well, fake, fake smiles. You can tell. Well, this is not a fake show because she is definitely not cooking and she's definitely not bringing me no drinks or anything to, to keep me hydrated for this hard work. She's at the store, okay? She ran to the store to get some stuff. So, just had to get on here to let you guys know I'm being mistreated. Gotta go. Okay, got some work done today, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and get out this wind, uh, but but uh, I, I made some good progress. Uh, the boss in there would be happy when she gets back. Guys, it's about to uh, it's about to start raining, so I'm putting a wire up. She had brought me some wire out there uh, to to tie the uh, the line, the uh, barbed wire around the uh, fence posts. So I did a lot of that. All that it was about 400 yard, well 400 feet of uh, barbed wire. So at least I didn't have to buy that. It was in a big. <sighs> Nobody calls me until I'm trying to record, but uh. It was in a big uh, ball, and uh, so I got it all unwound. It, it did. Uh, it did actually. Yeah, it got me. All there. All there, and probably on my face somewhere and on my back. But uh, got it, got pretty much a lot of it done. Um, if it wasn't going to, uh, if it wasn't going to rain. Um, I would have been out there until all the way dark. Uh, it's going to still be another hour or so till dark, but uh, got to get in here, get dressed, uh, about to uh, go out to eat anyway. So let me get in. I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to wear long sleeves or not, uh, but uh, probably because it looks like, yeah, it looks like I got in a fight with the rose bush and the rose bush won. So. Uh, I see she bought a uh, she brought a barbecue chimney. If you don't know what this is, guys, invest in it. I haven't used lighter fluid in over 20 or 25 years. Um, use this; it freaking works amazing. Put it in here. Put a little paper under the bottom. Just set it on the ground like so. Set it ground like so. Put the charcoal up to here. Put the paper on the bottom. Light it, and just let it go for about. Uh, until the paper's gone and maybe put some more paper in there one or two more times and after that it goes by itself you just shake it up like this shake it shake it shake it shake it and like a salt shaker and then um, just uh, when it turns gray dump it out so I usually get two of those I make two of those and I do it in uh, batches where I'll do two of them um, uh, well, no, I have three usually. I'll do two of them and then stagger the other one and, and light it again so later on when I need some more, then I can have some already ready to go. But speaking of going, see you inside. I'll talk to you at the table with uh, Tasha for a little bit and uh, then head on out to eat. Go post stop recording. Okay, back inside. Uh, we still have another couple hours before we, uh, we go out to eat. Uh, she's having her little... Uh, what do you call that? Jello salad is what I call it. Jello salad? Like a pink yeah. surprise? No? I don't call it that. <laughs> I call it what I told you I call it. Okay. A jello salad. That's what I call it. Okay, she put pecans in hers. I might I would like pecans or walnuts, but I, I don't supposed to have them, so Yeah, I made it. 
I made it without it because I know he's not supposed to eat it. First time I gave it to him, I forgot. Yeah. I had to it suck tastes good whether you and yeah, spit them out. Spit them out. <laughs> but it tastes good either way, like with or without. I guess I can show you. I like the texture. I, I like the texture of the nuts. I guess y'all can see that. But uh, I just came in from outside, as you saw, and um, I did talk to him. I think uh, you're giving me a hint to buy a barbecue grill, or we should get a barbecue grill. What? There's a chimney out there. It's a barbecue grill next to the chimney. Oh, you bought one. I didn't see it. It was a whole barbecue grill. It must have been, was it a smaller one, like something just to do for now? Yeah, I went to my grandma's house oh. and got the, oh, okay. the barbecue grill. So I went and bought the chimney and the charcoal. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see the, I, I passed right by it. Did you see the charcoal? I didn't see the charcoal either. Wow, I just saw the chimney. Because I was happy to see the chimney. Like, And I told them about the chimney. They don't know what a chimney is. There's something wrong with them. But uh, something's wrong with you if you pass up a whole box of barbecue, grill, and yeah. charcoal. They sit them right next to each other. We'll probably get a bigger one eventually, though. But that would yeah, be that, good enough for us. I just got that one for right now because I am going to get a bigger one um, to go on the deck. Big. But I already, my grandma had me to buy her a little small um, barbecue grill, and I never got a chance to open it. So I just went over there and got it because we don't have one over here. Okay, well, we can barbecue now. Uh, yep. Melinda, uh, our friend Melinda had got us, got me some pork chops. So, uh, I'll. Yeah, because I didn't know you had put the pork chops in the freezer. I was going to. Oh, do I just those did it last night because they were still in there. Yeah, I was going to do those today, but it's fine. Oh. Yeah, well, we're we going to have to eat. Stuff to do. Yeah, we yeah. got that to do anyway, so I can do it tomorrow. Okay. Or whenever. I just have to take them. Oh, whenever, oh, whenever you want them. So. I thought she was bringing me out a snack, like I told, like the Pioneer Woman. <laughs> uh, D, what's her name? Re Drummond. Ray Drummond. Ray is R E. I don't know. Oh, that's a talking about the rapper or singer or whatever they are. No, oh, she's light skinned and she's country. She's the cook that brings the stuff out to food. The Pioneer Woman. I don't know. Her you don't know the Pioneer Woman. I know Pioneer oh, Woman. I, don't I looked know it up. Pioneer it was R E E Drummond. I don't know Pioneer Woman's name. Oh, Pioneer Woman. That's what we call her then. The Pioneer Woman. Yeah, because if you had to say it the other name, I would have been like, who is that? I had to Google it. I was trying to be more informative for the fine people watching this channel. They probably was like me, like, who is... I was trying to be technical. Who, who is Ray or Rio? I was trying to be technical because some people, some people get mad if I call something something else, like Tupperware. I call Tupperware, if it's Rubbermaid... Freaking Ziploc uh, box deals. It's Tupperware to me. I call it Tupperware. That's just what I do. Like if my truck is outside, I'm at your house and you say, hey, your car out there, can you go get something from your car? I'm not going to be like, what are you talking about? Your car? You don't got a car out there. That's your truck. But you know what I'm talking about. I won't be like, oh. But uh, there's some people, you know who you are. I'm not going to call you out. I will not. But I appreciate you uh, using my website and um, and commenting and corresponding with me that way. Because it goes straight to my email and I do try to answer all my emails. But uh, yeah, there's was like two or three emails. Uh, and then I think they said... Uh, they, well, they don't like me either because I call it Tupperware too, I think. Yeah, I call it Tupperware. I just, if you know what I'm talking... If you don't know what I'm talking about, you would say, what are you talking about? But you know what I was talking about, so you corrected me. You wouldn't know how to correct me if you didn't know what I was talking about. So, please, if you know what I'm talking about, just go with the flow. That's all. But, uh, other than that, like, uh, I was going to show you some stuff around the house. I told him Bob is coming to visit. This is coming out on the 8th. So, uh, I think Bob is going to announce it on the 1st. And right now it's the 25th. So, uh. I'm getting these uh, videos to go out like they're getting closer and closer to when they are actually are because the Christmas video just came out. It was Christmas time a month. I mean, it was a month later. So it just came out like Merry Christmas. the 24th. Yeah. <laughs> so, but these are getting to be closer and closer than the actual date they happened. Uh, but Bob will be here uh, to visit notoriousb.o.b. So please 
uh, please uh, feel free to come to any events if you see them posted on my uh, uh, social media or his social media. Uh, hmm. uh, talking about the deer. I'm going to let him come in until he leaves, and then I'm telling him to get out. Get so, out! So Bob can see him. Yeah, so Bob can see him if he doesn't really see deer too much anymore. Because I know he was from the kind of country where he showed me. The, the, the tree. Golly, this don't go off until I'm on here. It does not. They was calling. When I when I just started this up, they was just calling. i like, why does everybody wait? Why does everybody wait till I get on the freaking video? VIP. Yeah. So here, let me show you. Let me turn this uh, microphone around so I can get uh, my audio. There you go. Melinda's, uh, I put the cars right there too. She's into uh, old cars. Uh, and Melinda, actually speaking of Melinda, uh, cause Kirsten is her daughter. If you see candy with Kirsten, uh, she had brought a lot of these candy popcorns, the Twix, the Snickers, the Oreo, the uh, Butterfingers and the M&Ms. I was looking for these for like freaking two or three, four months. So she bought all those. I'll do a, uh, a food review on that. If you didn't see it already, it probably is already out. Uh, Swedish Fish. Uh, we have Swedish Fish candy cane. We have Oreo candy canes. Uh, we got the Scorching Barbecue and the Scorching Cheddar. Uh, you already saw this stuff. Oh, here is, here is the rub that uh, Tasha had got. I unrolled it. Uh, and we was going to paint in here, but it actually matches everything right now. So to save money, I think we're going to keep it the way it is. Uh, let me put this down right here. But uh, Tasha got these blinds and we got them cut. So you don't really see them if they're up. But these go all the way down for our privacy. Yes, I said privacy. So if you didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> so all three of those. But uh there's a rug in here that she had got to match the bed. And I don't know if you saw this, I thought I put the video up, but Jose likes that picture. I said he's trying to fish by the columns probably, but matches the bedspread. We got the, the rug right here to go around. Uh, what else was I gonna show you? The, uh, the room that I painted, um, painted uh, the room, uh, looking glass is the color. Uh, I'll see what else we had done. But here is the room. If I didn't show you in another vlog, uh, it looks pretty much kind of white, but it's it's a little grayish blue tint to it, but it's actually a really good uh, coat of bear, one coat bear. I, I primed it twice, but I did the bear, uh, bear paint, but it was a really, the marquee, marquee bear or whatever that is, but it's, it coated really good. So other than that, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here in a minute. Uh, I still need to get better lighting in here. I usually use this when I'm doing my editing. Uh, but I have my, my, in my studio. And then I have the, uh, for the lives, I got the lights right here and the light right here that I turn on for the umbrella lights. Uh, we need to do some more of this fishing. This is one of my older vlogs, but we haven't gone fishing in a while. Um, we'll probably go fishing here, here pretty soon, hopefully, um, get out in the boat and do some Mississippi fishing. Uh, okay. Well, let me shut this down and I will, uh, talk to you, um, right before we go out to eat. Go bro, stop recording. Go bro, stop recording. About to go eat at a Char Grill. I think it's called Char Char Restaurant or Char Street. Let me look. Uh, but they won't let you wear Crocs. So I didn't even want to go. But uh, I am still going to wear Crocs. They don't want you to wear uh, street shoes is what they call them. Um, so it's called Char Restaurant. It's in Memphis, uh, Tennessee. Um, I'll put the uh, information up on the screen, but I do got my Crocs in chocolate or wheat in the uh, Jodeci H-Town boots. Uh, I think they're called duck boots or something. That's what Tasha calls them. I call them H-Town or Jodeci boots because they're like H-Town knocking the boots. Well, uh, I got a regular shirt on um, and I have jeans. I usually don't wear jeans, but I have a shirt on jeans and 
my boots. I'm going to put these over. I'm going to put these over. I'm not going to wear them like H Town. I'll put them over like that. So you only see about that much of them. So there we go. Um, we are going to take our uh, realtor that uh, uh, Jason Miller. We're going to take him out to eat. I told him for all his hard work. Uh, all the stuff that uh, he went through and we went through uh, that we're, uh, we're going to be going to uh, uh, go out to eat sometime. So I picked up Blue Agave. Um, it's a Mexican restaurant that's pretty good um, over here in um, Hernando. But um, Tasha said, I thought you said fancy. So we're going to go a little bit fancier. So you can't wear street shoes. That's that's really fancy for me. Um, Blue Agave was fancy for me. It's better than McDonald's. But uh, we're going to go to Blue, uh, not Blue Agave. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, Char restaurant and uh, see what that's about. Um, I'll put some pictures um, that when we come back, I'll put some pictures um, of uh, the food and everything. I'll probably do the, the phone shot uh, with the sexy sex for you. Um, but when we get back, I'll do that. Um, so um, probably... Um, as soon as I cut this video off, um, I'll let you know when we come back and then I'll, I'll throw them in there. Um, I don't want to bring the camera with us and do all that mess with the with Jason there. We're just going to have a good time and eat. So uh, we will see you when we get back. Go we'll both stop recording. What'd you get? The duck, duck breast. Duck breast and was it broccoli? Yeah, it was and what'd you one. get? Uh, Red. Red fish. Red fish. With nice what? Mm -hmm. Nice potatoes or something? Uh, stone cheese grease. Well, this looks like a mafia type thing. Look at my face. You can't even see my whole face. Don't it look like one of the Batman type things? You can take that to the bank. Is that what they said in the Batman? I don't, you can take, I don't think so. No, you can take that to the bank. That's how he knew who killed his father and mother. Is the, That's what he said. Oh. Yeah. Let me uh, turn some light on here. Okay, folks. Um, I didn't get the um, fried green tomatoes that she had got. I didn't get the gumbo, the shrimp, crab, and andouille gumbo that Jason and I got or I didn't get um, the Caesar salad uh, that I had. Talk to you guys uh, when to get to the house uh, right before I go to bed to finish this vlog up. Okay, just made it home. Um, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up tonight, guys. Um, what I'm doing is download the footage from, um, from tonight, but the next vlog you'll see, um, I'm not sure if we're gonna start on the she shed or not or me but uh special guests will be coming um as i mentioned today uh that will be notorious b dot o dot b dot um he'll be here from um february the 17th through the 22nd so probably the 18th through the 21st we'll be doing some shindigs around town so make sure to follow his um facebook and his youtube um uh, to see where he's going to be at if we're going to be doing any buffets some meet greet and eats or some other stuff around here but uh we will uh, try to get him a couple challenges and we're just going to make a fun time about it it's not going to be really all about eating challenges like every day maybe um just depends how he's feeling uh but uh we're gonna probably work on the she shed he's gonna do some he's gonna work to stay here okay gotta do a little work to stay here so um we'll be doing that so please uh follow my page as well if you want to see what we're going to be doing around town in memphis if you're in the memphis area uh then uh come on out and check check us out of uh, what we're going to be doing so uh it'll be on my www.garbagedisposalstore.com page uh go to the events tab and you'll see what the events are planned if we have any planned um it'll be on there um i also have videos that i already have edited um that's about to come out so the date and time that is on the event that is when the link will work it won't work until that date and time that's just the videos if you want to see what's about to come out uh, you can get a just of, of the speed challenges regular challenges food reviews vlogs and such so with that said 
good night um, and I thank you uh, for watching uh, today's vlog. Really do appreciate it. I want to thank uh, Jason Miller uh, for going out to eat with us. I didn't want to make it a big deal about uh, having the camera all the time and, and, and talking and everything. I wanted to have a really good meal, um, not being in the limelight, okay? So I uh, uh, had a really good time at Char. Uh, that pork chop that I had was freaking amazing. As I mentioned earlier, a really good pork chop uh, was cooked perfectly. Uh, with that said, about to go to bed. So, talk to you later. Go post stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. And if you could please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell to get notified of all the videos. Hit the like button. The more you like the videos, the more it gets shared over the internet. So that would really help me out. Um, I will. Uh, ask you to stay tuned if you haven't visited my website yet please visit my website and uh, you can see frequently asked questions and merch and see how to order merch and everything like that okay here is the website if you haven't been here already you just go to www.thegarbagedisposalstore.com um, here are the categories up top uh, here's a question and comment form. It goes straight to my email if you have any problems with it. The first one here is the merch. If you ever wanted to order merch from me, I made it a lot easier. Everything is on here. This is the limited edition shirt right here that I'm scrolling over. That is the gray. I only have a couple left in that one, but it'll all be on this site. Once they're they're out of this site, then I don't have them anymore. But uh, here are the hoodies. Um, I have the gray hoodies and jackets coming. Um, that's be December 2020. So anytime after that, I'll definitely have them in stock for you. Um, I am doing these, uh, the uh, pre-order here probably uh, the end of October 2020. So you can pre-order those if you like. I have masks, uh, aprons, stickers, and then the black shirts. Uh, other than that, on this front page, I do have videos, like the first five recorded challenges I've ever done, throwback bad acting, uh, most delicious challenges, biggest challenges solo and as teams, um, bloopers, and magical food tricks. You'll have to click on it to see what that's about. Um, if you want to ever follow me on any of the links to Facebook, the YouTube, the Twitter, Instagram, it's all here. Um, this is my email right here. So if you ever wanted to know my email, you just click that button and you can email me. Um, all the, the Facebook, everything's right here. Um, I have articles of how I got started with professional eating. Um, this is the YouTube community news tab. You can go to the community news on YouTube and see what's going on over there. Events tab is the, uh, the calendar of trips and everything. You can get uh, whatever videos that's about to come out. You can see when they're about to be released. Frequently asked questions. I have a lot of frequently asked questions on there. I get asked frequently, so I put them on here so you can read. Um, Amazon items I recommend. I'm going to say car items. I'm going to click car items. If you see my speed challenges, you will definitely know what this is right here. This is my car tray that I use for the uh, food tray in the car. But I have all these I recommend. This is for my phone. Um, so I have all this. I have um, the, the videos, the GoPros, and everything in, in, different, in different categories here. But uh, if you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you can be... Um, in the in the now um, you know what's going on if you fill this out you get a newsletter once a week and then then you, you get up to five a month so I, I put four out once a week and then one extra one during the month there's something extra um, going on a sale or if I'm going on a trip but other than that just fill that out you'll get an email saying verify you just click verify and you're good to go you'll get all kind of goodies um, in your newsletter about what's going on and you'll know more than what most people do Probably no more than me. But other than that, guys, here is the um, cell phone. Again, I'm going to click the, the tablet. This, this is what it looks like on the tablet. Still about the same. But this is the phone where you have to click this little box in the right, and you'll see all that frequently asked questions and merch and everything. So if you have any other questions, um, please go to the top left corner of the home. You'll see the question and comment, and get with me. So I appreciate it very much and talk to you later.